I've been told that there's only a few things that are guaranteed in life. Death, taxes, and hips telling the truth. So today, we'll be getting our ARs polyatomic by only hip firing. And to do that, we need to get 25 headshots with the five that we're doing today. Yes, we're only doing five. I know there's 10 ARs. We're going to split up in two parts because there's too many of them. Anyways, really quick, let me show you the build I'm working with. This is basically going to be the same thing for all of our ARs, but let me explain my tuning and everything. So I went ahead and I picked all the best hip fire attachments here, and I have everything tuned for like recoil steadiness, damage range. I didn't want to tune towards like ADS speed because we're not going to be ADSing at all. And instead, I, I've tuned everything towards like hip fire recoil control and accuracy. And then on the attachments that didn't really have anything for that, I attuned it to sprint to fire speed and recoil steadiness. But anyways, this is my AR build. This is my TAC 56. This is my cast off 762. This is my Lockman 556. And this is my STB 556. And we got a lot of headshots to get. So let's go ahead, hop in and start getting these camos done. All right, we're here in our first game. We joined a game of progress. But just to show you my commitment to not using ADS, I'm going to go ahead and disable it. So let's go to aim down sight and let's set this to something dumb like L. I'm never going to touch the L key. So now, as you can see, what normally is my ADS button does not work. Hip fire only, baby. And there's no better time to do this. I'm pretty sure today is the last day for shipment and ship miss. Obviously, ship miss will be gone. The, the holiday season is coming to an end here if it hasn't already ended for most of you guys. But I'm pretty sure from what I've read, you know, back when shipment actually came out, it said it was going to be here till January 4th. So after today, I have no idea where to get another 24 seven playlist, even if it is shipment or if it's shoot house or if it's something completely different. I don't think we're due for any more maps in this season, at least not from what they've put out. But we are desperately needing more content for this game. I personally don't play a whole lot of Warzone or DMZ. I'd like to. I think I might start playing some like Warzone solos or some more with the boys. But the multiplayer content is severely lacking. We've already gotten two new guns to the game, which is great. But those things you get done in like a day or two, assuming you have everything else done. Now, I know not everybody out there has been going through and grinding each weapon, getting all the levels and all the camos for each gun that's out. But for the people who find entertainment in that, and that's what they do like me, like when I hop in, I you know, playing the game, it's base game is fun. But I'm not good enough to be dropping like 100 kill games. I'm not going to be going crazy or anything. So I mainly play the game for like mindless combat. I can just walk around shooting and for like a little sense of like I'm getting some sort of progression out of it because there's I'm already max level. Not that levels even count past level 55 anyways. It's not like there's prestiges or anything. And we're already over halfway to Orion. We already have almost all of our weapons polyatomic at this point. So once that's done, I really don't have much to grind for in multiplayer besides like the mastery challenges, which are like emblems and calling cards that, you know, I'm not even too crazy about. I'm just doing it for the grind. Like I'm surprised in like a reboot of the Modern Warfare franchise and Modern Warfare 2 being one of the more popular Call of Duty games, if not the most popular Call of Duty game of all time, like the, the OG Modern Warfare 2. I'm surprised we haven't gotten like any remastered maps like we've seen them or seen glimpses of them on the war zone and like dmz map but like where are they in multiplayer the whole reason people love those is because they're like the og multiplayer maps and i feel like we're gonna need a big boost to uh, multiplayer come season two otherwise this game is gonna go on a steep decline i already think the the player base has dropped quite a bit for this game which is you know pretty standard for the last few cods where People play it at the beginning, they get hyped, and then it kind of like slows down. But the multiplayer content in this is just so, so lacking. If you're not a, a Battle Royale or DMZ player, you're not really in it. And I've mentioned this a few times in previous videos, but if adding new maps or whatever is going to take too long and they don't have those things ready and lined up to go, I feel like game modes aren't that much more difficult to throw into the game. You know, I'm not a game dev, so I could just be speaking out of my ass, which I am. But this is coming from somebody who plays the game a lot and who's looking for more out of this game. We need some party modes in it fast. I want to see like one in the chamber. I want to see like gun game. Prop Hunt would be my favorite. Prop Hunt was so much fun in Cold War. I don't think it was as popular. Maybe like at the start, it was pretty popular. And then towards the end, it kind of started going down. But Prop Hunt's always a good time with the boys, you know, hopping on there, just goofing around. Like we need more goofy modes and not like here's TDM, but with like a different twist. 
One thing I really want to see you make a return is gunfight. Like those 2v2 tournaments were so much fun. And with Vanguard's Champion's Hill, like I wasn't a big fan of Vanguard, but that Champion Hill mode was a lot of fun. It was like CSGO combined with gunfight. It was great. It was perfect. And I'd like to see some more of that. And then maybe, I don't know if it's too early to add in a, another grind, but throw in another camo. We saw Obsidian come in real late to Modern Warfare 2019. I guess Orion's kind of like Obsidian being like a second camo to the Mastery camo camos but i want to have another grind to go for after i'm done with all the masteries like give me an option to like prestige my camos or something have me go through it again and give me different color options give me more custom ability to each camo and again i'm not a game dev so take what i'm saying with a grain of salt but i feel like adding in the option to change the color of like orion or polyatomic for prestiging would not be that difficult to do it feels like you just have to change like a few colored index numbers and then it would just be different like being all prestige your camo and then get a random color variation of the camo that you're working on like if i were to go through polyatomic all over again and i have the like random option to get any single color like getting like a red polyatomic or a green polyatomic that would be sick that would give this so much more replayability and i'd be playing this game non-stop you know maybe after getting a few different variations i might get a little bored but i'd be hunting for that one variation that i wanted like even in uh Modern Warfare 2019 there's different color reticles and everything you can get it seems like in this game they're all the same color like you can't change it at all unless you change like your colorblind settings which is pretty disappointing it was fun to grind for that that blue dot reticle you know i just want more stuff to do uh, it can't be that hard i don't know i just want to see more out of this game i i want to be able to play it for as long as possible especially since we have a whole year gap until the next one this having like a two-year life cycle and to be fair to cod they did add in that new raid i have not personally played it yet i i've been trying to get some friends together for it you know, outside of like my computer issues and it crashing, I didn't want to be in the middle of the raid and then leave them stranded or like have the raid end just because my computer randomly shut down. And it's been pretty stable for a while, so I think I'm going to give it a go here soon. But they also added in that Rocket League type mode, like the Warzone World Cup thing. And that was pretty cool. Me and my friends played that for about like 20 minutes and then we quit out and downloaded Rocket League. So I guess that was good for something, but I don't think that mode's like insanely popular with like a lot of people, you know? I want to see something that like the community can get around. And I feel like we're almost done with these headshots, so we got to be getting pretty close. This headfire build has not been the greatest, but it hasn't been like awful. Like we're right in between. And I feel like I'm getting pretty lucky with these headshots. Like the bullets just barely getting there, like hitting the head on the last shot. And we did just get this one done. So on to the next one. Come on. Neither of those were headshots. And that one wasn't either. Come on. There we go. Finally a headshot. I thought the M4 was mid. This TAC 56 kind of fucking sucks. I'm not going to lie. This is horrendous. I know I'm trying to fire from like half a mile away, but even when I get up close, I feel like I'm not getting headshots. What? That still wasn't one? Do I have to get even closer? Is that guy's name Barmello Xanthony? That is one of the most outrageous names I've ever seen. That's hilarious. Thanks for the headshot, Barmello. Barmello's feeding us. Shout out. Oh, wait, was that the challenge? Or was that weapon mastery? I didn't even see. I'm going to assume that was weapon mastery because I feel like I have four headshots with this. And they're all on Barmello. This whole only hip fire thing has been a whole lot worse than I thought it would be. I cannot win like any engagement unless they do not see me at all. Like I have to get at least six rounds into them before they even notice me if I want to get that kill. I did not think it would be this bad. Oh wait, we got a headshot though. I love it when I start complaining and things just start working. That's my favorite part about this game. Eat that. Oh, come on. The second I start hitting shit, the game ends. Of course. I did have 48 kills that game, but I guarantee I had more deaths. Oh, yep. 62 of them, to be precise. Jeez. And did we get this polyatomic that game, or was it just a mastery challenge? It was definitely just a mastery challenge. We still have 10 more to go. All right. Enough messing around. Let's get this challenge done. I'm done with attack 56. I need to be. This gun is not very good. At least hip firing. Honestly, one of my least favorite ARs. Hey, we got a hip fire challenge done, though. That counts for something. How was that a headshot and everything else hasn't been? I'm so confused. Is that it? Am I done? Nope. All right, maybe some crack will help. Nope, definitely did not help. Crack wasn't the answer today. It normally is though. Crack usually powers me up. It's like Popeye. He eats like spinach and he gets real strong. 
I do crack and I get real accurate with my camos and I think I just got it done. So maybe crack did help. Maybe crack's the key. It's like Avatar, the way of the water. It's me, the way of the crack. It didn't flow as great as I, I thought it would, but we're all done with that gun, hopefully. And now we're on to our, our cast off. Let's see if the cast off is any better with hip fire. Uh, I mean, we got a headshot there, but it took a little long. The time to kill is so fast in this game with how inaccurate I'm being with this hip fire. I'm putting myself at a huge disadvantage. All right, let's see if cracks the answer with this. Get all cracked up. Immediate headshot. Almost another one. I don't understand how it doesn't kill that close. When you're right up against somebody just spraying and at least a few bullets are connecting, I think they should just die. Getting shot like point blank range and surviving it is ridiculous. Ooh, the throwing knives are on one today. And stop equipping classes with last stand. Why do you do that? I don't know what I hate more. People with the riot shield or people that have last stand. I'm sure there's people out there that use both. I wonder if having a riot shield on with last stand protects you while you're down. I would probably have like a, a brain hemorrhage if that happened. Why are you laying down blocking the door? I guess it worked for you. Weirdo behavior. I will say this is like a hundred times better than our, our attack 56. We just got three headshots in a row right there. Let's go. This thing is nasty with the hip fire, at least compared to the tack. Anything seems good compared to that thing. We only have a few headshots left to get here for our cast off. And you might notice I'm in different clothes because it's a completely different day. Uh, something came up and I couldn't finish recording, but we're back now. We're getting some more camos. It also looks like my prediction kind of came true with shipment. Uh, they got rid of the ship miss, but they did not get rid of shipment 24 seven, at least not yet. So we're just on normal old shipment at the moment. And we're still racking up headshots. Oh wait, not gonna be fooled. That's only 100 kills. I think we just need like five more headshots. I think we might be at 20 now. And I might've got one there. No, I did not. And this hip fire thing has been a terrible idea. I cannot aim this at all, just shooting from the hip. The cast off has been significantly better though, compared to like our M4 and our, our TAC 56, but it, this is still a pain. I feel like the only guns that are really good hip firing are like SMGs and shotguns. Shotguns mainly. ARs, it seems almost pointless. There's no point in hip firing at this insane of a range. Come on, are we done with it now? Is that it? Does not look like it, but now is it it? Still not looking like it. And what about now? Is that it? Am I done? Yeah, moving on. Now we have the Lockman 556. And we're starting off strong. Ooh, eat that. I might be hitting throwing knives, but this Lockman is not the greatest. Despite the three kills I just got right there. That's an outlier. Every other time I've, I've been trying to shoot with this, I'm getting nothing. But the second I try to, you know, make a point out of it, it starts working. Eat that. I'm just dastardly with the throwing knives right now. I'm doing way more with those than I am with a gun. And there's somebody on the floor with a shotgun. Why do people do that? I guess it works for them, but stop. Knock it off. Do something else. If you're getting prone kills, fine. Go ahead. Knock them out. Get that challenge done. If you're not and you're just doing that for pleasure, fuck you. Honestly, I feel like they need to just get rid of all the rain here on shipment and bring back the festive lighting. The lighting on the festive version was so much better. This map is just so dull. And considering this is like one of the more popular maps, I feel like people are going to start getting annoyed with this game if the only map that they're really playing on is one that's this dull and dark. And there's not really a whole other like big pool of options of maps to play on, especially ones where you can't really guarantee it. I feel like if they just brought back map voting, the whole like 24 seven shipment thing wouldn't be that big of an issue. People would play on it if they had camos to grind, but if they wanted to go for like any other challenges, they can just, you know, vote for their map. Eat that. You can have one. Anyone else? Let's go. Nice little triple. None of them were headshots though, so they're all meaningless. Thank God that guy came in to help out. Oh! What? How did I even get that guy? I was pre-firing the corner and didn't see him. Like I knew he was over there, but I don't know how any of those bullets landed. It's that, that hip fire crazy spread. The one time it actually helps out. Outside of like these random plays I'm making, this gun is awful. That time I didn't even hit him like even once, but this gun makes the TAC 56 look like a large, fresh curly fry from Arby's. And this gun looks like Meek Mill pool fries. Okay, never mind. I got double headshots immediately. All I have to do is make fun of it and it works. And maybe do a little crack. 
This is a big crack episode. Because it definitely helps. Crack is the way! Let's go! Every time I mention crack or just make fun of the gun, everything just starts working in my favor. I'm gonna have to play a game of shipment and smoke crack every time I die. And then you'll see me unlock Orion like eight times in a row. I'll get it for eight different accounts. Oh, another triple with a throwing knife in there. And another triple that doesn't have any headshots in it. It's just so damn hard to get the... Pause. Hold on. Pause right there. It, I just can't get the recoil spray right on the hip fire. It seems like it's just so random and sporadic. But when it happens, it happens. We, we they, they come in groups and bunches. And we just got a challenge done there. I don't know if that was the gold challenge or the headshot challenge. I kind of wish it was the headshot challenge so I can be done with this gun. I'm going to try to get like a few more headshots just to make sure. I don't want to fool myself here. But I really wish right when you got the challenge done, it didn't immediately show the award thing unless you were alive. So I feel like it pops up as you're dying. And by the time you respawn, you get like a 0.2 seconds to see if like what challenge you just completed. I really wish it just popped up with the camo. It was so much better in like literally every other COD when you'd see like... You know, Damascus unlocked, Dark Matter unlocked, Dark Aether unlocked. Like, or literally any challenge leading up to it. Just be like, oh, classic camo number 18 unlocked. Like, it's not that difficult, I don't think, to throw in a little image there instead of just trophy. Or I guess it's like a medal now. It used to be a trophy at the beginning of the game. and just didn't even say anything. You just had to assume that was the challenge you were doing. Ooh, my throwing knives are back. It only just took like one video of warming up. And I got it done. I've been hitting them left and right. Seems like whenever shipment came out, the throwing knives just kind of went on a hiatus. The shipment's not that big of like a throwing knife map. It's not as cool when somebody's like right up against you. It, you might as well just melee with it. But I've been hitting some nice ones. This is my long range option since I can't ADS. But I do have like 60 kills this game. I'm going to assume some of those are headshots. So I'm going to move on to the STB. And if I don't have all the headshots done with it, we'll just try to crank the rest out at the end. But the STB was my favorite AR while I was grinding ARs, and it's already proving that it's still very strong. I thought this was like the best gun in the game when I first started grinding, and I haven't really touched it too much since like I, I got the ARs done. So I'm excited to see how it holds up still. Looks like it can still hit long range even with him hip fire. There we go. That's a headshot. And another. Let's go STB. And we're done. It's like everyone's got a one-shot weapon. Everybody's using like a marksman rifle, a shotgun. I saw somebody using the vector, which shoots so fast you, you'd think it would be one shot. And that shotgun is just ridiculous. This guy's just patrolling mid, so I can't even go through there. I'm thinking if I'm still getting my ass kicked in the next few lives, that I quit out of this game. And I love having that option. So I hated it back in like Cold War where you can't even back out of games without losing weapon progress. Holy shit, please aim. Why was that so slow? That was the slowest melee I've ever seen in my life. Oh no, that throwing knife could have hit. Good job, teammate, distracting him. Good bait. And we're going in. What? Where'd that throwing knife go? I know I still would have died there, but I deserve that extra kill. That throwing knife is there. There we go. There we go. Fuck it. Get knifed. You get knifed too. All right, no. I'll just get shot, I guess. Did they really slow the melee time though? Or is it only when like I'm out of ammo that the melee time with the throwing knife is extremely slow? So it feels a lot slower today. These guys are kind of pounding us, but actually pause. Pause on that one. But let me break their back. Never mind. Pause on that one too. But I am getting like a decent amount of headshots. So I don't want to break my momentum. They have just very strong spawn traps. There's been a few times where I've spawned right into like a flashbang. Or immediately peeked out and got sniped on both sides of the field. Oh! We're still doing it. No matter how nasty these guys are, I can pull a little bit of nasty out myself. I just have to like throwing knife in between shots. That was gross. That was gross. Oh, that should have been another one. That's bullshit. And then he throwing knife me. I got screwed. Oh, oh, that's what I'm talking about. They didn't give me a headshot on the way out. Still not dead yet, though. Oh, still not dead yet. Try me, bitch. Am I still alive? I am. Somehow. Oh, it's VTOL time, baby. The STB is giving me strength. These guys still don't even know I'm here. I have all the time to reload. Oh, 
<laughs> Advanced UAV time. Oh, now I'm dead. Okay, but that was kind of crazy. I was fighting for my life over there. Kicking and screaming. And I was thinking about quitting out of this game. These guys are baby back bitches. Now, I'll let it be known. I do have 63 kills this game. I just tabbed out. Shit. I hope that didn't crash. Please. No. Oh, okay, the game ends. I tab out and come back into the game ending. I do have 64 kills, but I guarantee I have more deaths. I might have 70 deaths in this game. Oh no, 41. Okay, I was I was wrong. We kind of popped off there and it felt like I wasn't popping off. We just had like a few really good plays. And after that wild performance, we just need four more headshots and we are done with our STB. Ooh, you like that? Huh? You want some too? And your friend? Oh wait, what? That was 25? No way those were all headshots. That's what I'm talking about in this game in detecting headshots is I feel like I don't know what a headshot is. So it just randomly count what is and what's not. So that means I'm backing out. I am playing more game than I have to. Did we actually get it though? We did, sick. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game and see what they look like there. All right, this is what our M4 is looking like with polyatomic on it. Very nice. It also has that cinder blueprint underneath it. So you can see that little skull above the mag. Pretty sick looking gun. And this is our TAC-56. A little bit different here from the other ones. This one has like the secondary pattern as like the main pattern on this gun. I wonder if that was a mistake or they did that on purpose because it kind of looks funky. But also, I like how different it looks. This is our Kazdov 762 or whatever the hell. I don't remember the caliber, but uh, looks pretty cool. AK in this game, not that bad. And then we got our Lockman here. More like Suck Cockman, am I right? And we have the best AR in the game, in my opinion, the STB. It looks fucking fantastic. And we were kind of shredding with it. So got a little bit of a boner for this one. There you have it. We got half of our ARs done. We have another half to go. Let me know what kind of gimmick you want to see for the next one. Or we can just continue doing some more hip fires too. I mean, that was a little difficult. We can continue to try it again. But that's where I'm going to end today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Support me. All that good stuff. Really do appreciate it. It means the most. And I will see you next time. Later.